Currently, two-thirds of emissions worldwide are attributed to energy. Our sector has been a significant part of the problem. We, as the authorities in charge of energy policy around the world, have an enormous responsibility. And I'm convinced that we will do our job better if we work together. No group can meet this challenge alone. Governments, companies, scientists, academics, civil society, NGOs, and all citizens must work together. Chile, as you know, is a distant and small developing country that has committed itself to be carbon neutral by 2050. We have already seen the effects of climate change and how our most vulnerable people have been the most deeply affected. We think that global climate change is the biggest challenge of our generation. So even though Chile is responsible for less than 0.3% of global CO2 emissions, we will do all we can to be part of the solution. We're going to work to be carbon neutral by 2050 because that is what science is telling us. Because it is what future generations deserve. Because it is the right thing to do. Our carbon neutrality plan is ambitious, but its essence is simple. We will clean our electricity generation capacity to then replace fossil fuels with electricity across different sectors of the economy mining, industry, transportation, buildings. First, we need to replace coal, which last year still represented almost 40% of our electricity generation. This is an ambitious commitment for our country. But with dialogue, we are making it happen. The phase-out process has already begun, and 10 of the 28 coal-fired power plants operating in our country will be decommissioned by 2024. Second, to phase out coal, we will fully develop our renewable energy potential. The exceptional solar irradiance of our Atacama Desert is the highest on the planet. In 2012, we had less than 3 megawatts of solar capacity. Today, we have over 2.5 gigawatts. And 97% of the generation projects under construction are renewable. Furthermore, four years ago, we set the goal that renewable energies would provide 70% of our electricity generation by 2050. Recent projections show that we will likely reach this objective by 2030. That is two decades ahead of time. Third, as in many other countries, one of our main challenges is flexibility, which, as you know, is essential to ensuring reliability in a system with a growing share of renewables. Fourth, we see huge potential in green hydrogen. We're setting up a collaboration framework to bring in the private sector and academia to develop pilot projects that use our solar and wind capacity to produce green hydrogen. I'm convinced that to be successful, we need the political will to commit to carbon neutrality. President Piñera, demonstrated that will. But we also need to ensure that our carbon neutrality plan is not our government's plan, but our country's plan. I know this sounds obvious, but politicians tend to politicize issues, and this is not an issue to be politicized. Political cycles are too short, and the solution to this problem requires stamina, that is, the ability to sustain efforts over a long period of time. The decision to be carbon neutral by 2050 is an ethical decision. It is a decision in which the balancing of costs and benefits of economics does not work well, simply because the costs of doing nothing are impossible to calculate. Science has been very clear about this. So, as in, any, as in many other ethical decisions, here we must simply do the right thing. 
we must not use economics when we must resort to ethics. But after we have made the decision to be carbon neutral, we need to decide how are we going to reach that goal. Then it is time to gather economists and engineers to determine the best possible strategy. And we must be implacably rigorous in our calculations of costs of alternative measures. In this fight, our destinies are tied together. We can only contribute from Chile with our 0.3% of emissions and with a couple of thoughts. But I humbly hope that the effort we are making in our small and distant country, a country that is going through a difficult time but is nevertheless committed to this cause, I hope that this effort and the effort of many other countries that are represented here today help others take the steps required to do the right thing in the fight against climate change. We have plenty of ideas, but we are running out of time. I think it's time for action. Thank you.